Good morning to you. The Senate convenes on Capitol Hill today for the first time in the new year as we are all convening back at work. So many of us following New Year's and New Year's Day. Uh, but of course, they're trying to achieve what they couldn't in 2021. I don't know if this is going to be possible, but I know someone who is an expert at talking about all of this. White House columnist for the Hill, Niall Stanage, joining us. Good morning. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Good to convene with you again. Exactly, yes. exactly, as we're very formal in 2022. But, Niall, let's, let's be really plain. This is like the song that never ends. We've got Biden's uh, Build Back Better plan, Democrats are trying to save. We have inflation that has not been resolved, and the budget is set to expire again in February. So let's dream a little bit. Let's use an execution approach. What would be on the Democrats' vision board for 2022, do you think? Well, largely the problem is what would be on their vision board are the same things that were on it when they started 2021. And that's part of the problem, Adrian. There's a lot of unfinished business. Obviously, COVID is part of that, um, but a lot of the congressional legislation is part of that. So there is this desire to get things done. At the same time, the underlying realities, the, the tectonic plates are just the same, and that's Democrats have big dreams, but very slim congressional majorities. And as they try to enact those dreams, they also run into a wall of Republican opposition. Well, and, and it's just that they haven't really had this unified agreement over these massive spending bills. Build Back Better uh, is a prime example. It's back on the negotiating table. Joe Khalil's been talking about that this morning. But will Congress be able to get that bill to a place that will actually pass Senator Joe Manchin's muster? I mean, he's the one who's the make or break vote. We've been reporting it for months now. He's saying he's willing to talk, but what's going to have to happen? I think the chances of that are possible, but I wouldn't put a lot of money on it, Adrian. And you mentioned the fact that he's been talking about it for months. That in itself is important. There has been a breakdown of trust here because Manchin was talking for so long about he might come on board with it. And then just before the holidays, he said he wasn't. That has led Democrats, particularly on the left of the party, to feel that he was basically stringing them along. And so they feel that he's maybe acting in bad faith. He is still saying something could happen. Congressional leaders are still saying something could happen, but hopes and realities don't always match up in these things. Well, let's talk about Democrats' hopes uh, to maybe possibly change filibuster rules as a way to, um, I guess, prevent any voting rights legislation from being passed. Is that right? Can you make that really simple for us uh, here and at home? Absolutely. So Democrats want to strengthen voting rights protection. To pass that kind of legislation, you need 60 votes. The Democrats don't have 60 votes. There are only 50 Democratic senators. So then the plan B would be to change the rules so you only need 50 votes. The problem there is to change those rules. You need all Democratic senators to sign off on that. And so far, Senator Manchin, who we just mentioned, and Kirsten Sinema, a Democrat from Arizona, have said they don't want to change that rule. So Democrats are then stuck between a rock and a hard place. Their activist base really passionate about this issue, but the math just isn't there. All right. Well, hopefully the next time I talk to you, we have something cheerier to discuss. I feel I sang you a very sad song today, but we'll try and get better next time. That's okay, because you were still pitch perfect, as always, Niall. Thank you so much. Ah, thanks, Adrian. Now, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.